it just got a whole lot easier to make sculpting brushes in Blender with the new VDM add-on that is included in Blender for free. Let's take a look at how to use that. Now, if you're not familiar with what VDM brushes are, I've covered them on this channel before. And what they do is rather than just allowing for a vertical height within the brush, they also allow for overhangs. And as such, this feature being added to the community, we're already seeing a bunch of amazing brush packs popping up on Blender Market now, which you can go ahead and buy. If you like free stuff, then you should go ahead and download my free Lightning Arc file here as well, but let's dive in. So this add-on is included in Blender, so we're going to edit preferences add-ons and we're going to search for VDM. And then you're going to want to turn on baking VDM brush maker. And you'll see here that it's going to appear in sculpt mode. So we'll go ahead, grab our object here, our default cube here, switch to sculpt mode. And then over here on your end panel, I have this filter turned on so you can't see it, but you should see a VDM brush maker add-on panel. Now we can go ahead and pull that out. And to get started, we need to create a sculpting plane. And that plane is what we are going to use to sculpt the shape of our brush. So if I go ahead here and click Create Sculpting Plane, you'll see that it now creates a new plane. And that's my only problem with this add-on is that this is only accessible in the sculpt mode. So you have to select an object and go to it and then grab a new object and then go back into sculpting mode. So it's a bit of a few extra steps, but Let's go ahead here and go into sculpting mode. Now this plane here has already been given a multi-res modifier automatically, and you can go ahead and continue to add subdivisions to that if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add one more there. Now what you can do is go ahead and begin sculpting on your brush here. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I actually have this stylized set that I mentioned that I really love. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these stylized sets to begin adding some detail here. So first what I'm gonna do is grab just a regular draw brush and kind of just get some kind of geometry going here. I'm just gonna kind of create some shapes there and I'm going to take advantage of kind of the overhang as well. So great. Now what I'm going to do is grab one of these stylized brushes over here and you can sculpt any detail you want. I'm gonna start kind of sculpting some detail there, great. And I want to go ahead and maybe scrape some of this off. And I'm just gonna start speeding through this process because you wanna learn how to use the brush add-on, not watch me. Great, so I kind of have this rocky protrusion with some kind of overhangs and other elements. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use this brush maker to make it. So now what we're going to do is we have our sculpted plane, it is referencing that grid, and we're going to go ahead and name this. So I'm going to call this rock overhang. Then we need to choose the map resolution. By default, it'll be set to 512, and this really depends on how much detail you want. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine at 512, leave the compression at zip lossless, and leave the color depth at 16. You can go ahead and up the render samples here if you want, but I found that the default settings overall work really great. So then after that, all you need to do is click render and create VDM brush. And it may seem confusing because immediately it lights up red. So it kind of seems almost like you have a mistake, but what it's just letting you know is that there is now a brush in your project file with that same name. Now I'm using this brush manager over here, which makes it really easy to find. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for rock. And then when I click here, you'll see that now we have this rock overhang brush. So we can go ahead and actually use this on our thing. And you see that now we get that same exact shape, overhang and all included. Now I highly recommend including not just BDM brushes, but brushes in general into your sculpting workflow. I actually really love this stylized pack here that I've used a lot on my short film. Using brushes and things is a really quick way to speed up your sculpting process and to kind of add a lot of detail quickly. So if you recall at the beginning of the video, I showed that there were a bunch of brush packs. So let's say that you buy a VDM brush pack. How do you go about putting it in your file? Well, it's pretty simple. You go up to file, append, and you're going to choose your brush folder. So if I go ahead here and choose one of the ones I have, You'll see that there is actually a brush folder and you can go and import all of these brushes into your scene and then they'll be accessible within the sculpting. You can also use this to create your own brush asset library using this add-on. 
Now, if you want this to load in Blender every time you open Blender, append it into your new file and then just do the same default save startup file. And then it will also include those brushes whenever you open a new Blender scene. However, be warned that if you import too many brushes, it can create a pretty slow load time because it has to load all of those image textures associated with those brushes.